I remember being a kid and arguing with my parents when they wanted me to do something. And I would argue and say, why do I have to do that? And they would try to explain. And I'd say, but why do I have to do that? And they would try to explain. And eventually they'd get so exasperated that I'd say, why do I have to do this? And they would say these words, because I said so. Ever been there? I mean, when you were a kid, didn't you hate to hear those words because I said so? I mean, there's just something in us that wants to call the shots. We want to give the orders rather than take the orders. But in Numbers chapter 9, we get this picture from God's people of this unquestioning obedience. I mean, every time the pillar cloud moves, they pack up and move. Every time it stops, they stop. It would be like this. You're sitting at home. Everything's fine. You're kicking back to watch the game, and there's a knock on the door. And you open the door and there's this man with a clipboard and he looks at you and says, it's time. And so you immediately begin to pack up your whole household, put everything in boxes, load it in a big truck. You get the whole house picked up and you take off. And 12 hours later, the man directs you off to the side of the road where he wants you to stay. And you think, okay, we must have arrived. And so you unpack all your stuff, set it up in a new house, get everything just the way you want it, and, and just when you've got everything settled and put away and you're kicked back to relax, there's another knock on the door and you open it, it's the same man with the same clipboard and he says, it's time. And so you start packing up your whole household again and packing it all on the truck to take off and you do this until the day you die. This is life for you. Now, sometimes you get to stay longer, and sometimes you only get to stay overnight, but you're constantly packing up every time the man with the clipboard says, it's time. I can't fathom such unquestioning obedience. I'd love to tell you I was that way, but I'm not. But here's what I'm figuring out. That the more I become convinced that following God just because he said so is more important and beneficial to me than anything else, then the easier it is to obey God. When you and I can realize that obeying God is the most beneficial thing we can do for us, then because I said so may be enough. Here's to a week where I hope you find new ways to obey God without question. See you next week. Thank you.